Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There is one more good news coming from the indigenous male UAV Tapas. On 27 June 2023, Tapas demonstrated the 200th flight to the Tri-Services team for the first time at ATR Chitaradurga. The Tri-Services team has appreciated the indigenous efforts for development of the UAV. The remotely piloted aircraft is now ready for user evaluation trials which was planned in second quarter of 2023. On 16th June 2023, Tapas has shown another remarkable capability. The UAV took off at 7.35 hours from aeronautical test range ATR Chitadurga which is 285 kilometers away from Karwar Naval Base. One ground control station and two ship data terminal were installed in INS Subhadra for controlling the UAV. The INS Subhadra is a Sukanya class patrol vessel of the Indian Navy. Earlier, this warship has been used to test the Dhanush, a ship launched ballistic missile and associated stabilization and launch platform. During the trial, Tapas performed the flying of around an altitude of 20,000 feet ever the mean sea level. During its flight operation, Tapas has successfully demonstrated the transfer of command and control from one ground control station to the Indian Navy ship INS Subhadra, which was stationed 148 kilometers away from the Karwar naval base. The INS Subhadra then controlled the UV operation for 40 minutes during its 3.5 hours flight duration. After trial, Tapas landed back at ATR Chitardurga. This test is called C2, that is command and control capabilities, to check the ability of operator to control the drone's flight, sensors, and payload. The C2 capabilities are essential for safe and effective operation of the UAV. The entire operation has demonstrated the Tapas capability as a male UAV which can not only be used for land surveillance but also used for performing the ISR missions in the blue waters where it can be controlled by Indian Navy ships with ship data terminal installed. While Indian Navy is all set to acquire 15 numbers of MQ-9 Sea Guardian Hail UAVs, Tapas will supplement the Sea Guardian operation. Tapas's DRDO solution to the Tri-Services I-STAR requirements. The UAV is capable of operating at altitudes up to 28,000 feet with an endurance of 18 plus hours, which is a very significant achievement. It is a medium altitude, long endurance male UAV designed to perform intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance missions for Indian Armed Forces. Its mission requirements are to provide continuous wide area coverage and be able to identify small targets. It will be India's first male UAV which will be used in day and night aerial surveillance missions. Tapas or Ustam 2 is comparable in same class with IAI's Heron UAVs. Now talking about its capabilities, Tapas has a range of 250 kilometers and is capable of day and night missions. It can carry payloads of up to 350 kilograms and it is designed to perform intelligence surveillance reconnaissance missions for armed forces. Its mission requirements are to provide continuous wide area coverage and be able to identify even small targets. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.